Let's continue our introduction to Solaris by finishing up the layout of our final scene. So as always, the project files for this will be available on Patreon, but let's go ahead and build out our final scene here. So this is definitely something that we could do with the layout lop. We're gonna be placing a bunch of spheres around our scene in here, uh, just to give us a little bit more visual interest for our scene, and we'll you know shade them accordingly. But this is something we could do with the layout lop inside of Solaris. But this lop specifically requires you to export out uh, your meshes and then bring them back in. And I actually have a video that goes over this, this layout lop, but I'll go back over this in this series and just show you how we can use it in the context of our series. But I'm not gonna use it for this video just because we're going to do the same thing inside of this SOP create. And it's just really not necessary since we're just using spheres to export them out as USD and then bring them back in. So let's go ahead and drop down a sphere. And I'm going to make this a polygon and just crank up the frequency. And I'm gonna need to make a few copies of this, but first I'm going to drop down a group and I'm gonna make sure this is on primitives and I'm gonna name this group gray and we're going to need a few of these so we're going to just make everything we need and then copy them all over so let's also drop down a match size and i know what's going on here so i'm not going to display this in my viewport but we're just going to set this to min and it's going to set it on to the ground plane for the justify y so that it sits properly when we place these down in just a moment a moment and then i'm also going to give this a color and I'm just gonna make this a kind of a darker gray color. So I know which ones are going to be placed, we're placing where. And then I'm gonna click and drag just to select everything. And I'm gonna alt click and drag across. Let's rename this group to white. And let's set this color to more of that neutral grayish color. And then let's do the same thing again. And with this group, let's call this one bronze. And this color, let's go ahead and make a sort of like a bronzish type of a color, maybe something like that should be good. And then one more time, and let's name this one white underscore shiny. And then I'm going to merge all of these together. So I'll take all these colors and let's merge them all into here. And then we're gonna use a labs node. So if you don't have labs installed, you're gonna to want to, you're gonna to wanna to install that. So we're gonna use the labs pick and place. And we're going to wire in our scene before this into the collision geometry. Basically, this is the geometry that we wanna place things on top of. And then our merge, let's put that into the pick and place. And then we can press that plus sign and we can start to place around some objects. If we press enter with this selected, we have this actually set up. So by clicking that plus, it's going to give us an object. So we have our little icons here that show us kind of what we're doing. So we can click and drag to place an item. We can control and click to adjust it. And then we can change the items with uh, the right click or the, sorry, the mouse wheel, not the right click. And then control and the middle mouse button will delete. So let's go ahead and start to place these down. So I'm gonna click and drag and that's going to allow us to just kind of resize our object here. I'm gonna actually go into our, our camera here just so I can place them based off of our camera. So I'll worry later on about uh, about making sure we have the right ones in the right spots. I'm not too worried about that right now because if I come to this oh, settings over here, you see we have this ID. So I can scroll through this and you can see which one we get different ones. But again, I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and make those final decisions after I place these because we can always change these IDs. You see it change in there and updates in the viewport there but I'll make that final decision kind of at the end based off of uh, kind of 
what I think is going to look good. So let's click and drag and just kind of place some of these down and we can always come back and you know adjust these later on. Oops, that one's real large. So actually that works pretty well. Let's place one, kind of a smaller one there. Let's put a bigger one maybe next to it. Make sure it's a little finicky from the camera view. It's a little bit easier sometimes if you move out of the camera, but you should be all right. Let's place a big one here. Let's place a pretty small one and a little bit bigger one there. And let's get a real big one somewhere like that. Uh, let's put another big one on top here. And then let's go again with a pretty large size one right there. And again, this is just going to be your personal preference, whatever you want, whatever you think looks good. Let's do something like that. And then maybe we get one more back here. And I want to put another one on top of this. Maybe something like that. So let's go ahead and come to our camera here. And now let's actually come back into this color because I realized I forgot to change this color. So this is the shiny white. So let's go to just pure, pure white on that. And we can come back to this pick and place. And let's start to adjust, you know, what they are. So let's say, let's see. So as we change these, you can see we get different things. So I'll just set some of these to be, to be different. So the second one is going to be that white color. That's, uh, that's kind of going to be a more, or a, sorry, a less shiny. And actually let's leave that one on, on that gray. I want to change this one to be the less shiny. So the, the white, this fourth input that we have, and let's actually make this something different. Cause I realize now that it's a little bit harder to see. Maybe let's go with like a, Maybe a lighter blue, just so we can tell kind of what is going on with which one. So I'll set this one to be kind of a, that white color. Just kind of mix up the, the looks we're getting here. Actually, let's make this one shiny too. Let's make this one actually keep it on that default gray. I think I like the gray probably for that one as well. And I would just, like I said, I'm trying to just keep everything mixed up a little bit so that we don't have too much of the same going on in the same spots. And we can always adjust this later with uh, shading to see what we think looks good. Let's maybe go with the, the shiny white on that one. And, you know, let's do the shiny white for this one as well. Let's keep that on the gray. Let's make that one the kind of more matte gray one. Let's make this one shiny. And then which one is this? Oh, that's one we haven't done yet. So I don't need that. We have them all set up and then we have two outputs here. So let's go ahead and just drop down a null. So with this, we have the First output which is going to output your entire scene. And then the second output is just going to output our, our spheres there. So whatever we place down. So our entire scene or just our spheres. And I don't particularly want the entire scene. So I'm going to keep it on just these spheres. And let's drop down a clean node because I don't want to bring these colors in. We can just get rid of those attributes. We'll keep everything else and you can see we still have our groups assigned on on here so if i scroll through these you can see different things are assigned properly so let's go ahead and merge these back together and we pretty much have our final scene kind of set up now we just need to go go through and start to build out the shaders and then we also need to start to light it and everything else with the rendering we'll set up the render settings and all of that so we'll start to go through that in the next video 
But that is going to wrap up this video. If you haven't ever used the this pick and place from the labs tool, it's pretty similar to the layout lop, which is pretty cool. It gives you the ability to uh, kind of work kind of in a Solaris type of a setting just in, in, in SOPs, which is kind of nice. But like I said, we'll probably go back through and go through the, the layout lap in the same context. I just don't think it's super necessary in this, in this video because we're only doing the spheres. And I realized now actually that when we deleted that last object, it was our sphere up here. So let's put that back something like that and let's just set that to that shiny oops that shiny white actually i don't know why that's it's like glitching out like that come on let's place place that down There we go. All right. So let's get out of that. That view. Let's come back to this. Okay. Yeah. So my mistake on that, but that last one is actually the one that we need. So let's make sure we retain that. Like I said, we'll go through the lighting and start to build out the shaders and everything in the next video. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day.